and welcome to Frunk is Up with Beer Buddies. I'm Shez, this is Phil, and today we're going over Beer Basics 101. This is your chance to get the absolute bare bones basics of beer, and in case of Phil, uh, to become that annoying know-it-all at the party. I've lost a lot of friends that way. Yeah, I'm only here because I'm contractually obligated to be. I thought you were the last one left. <laughs> so let's get started. Beer is created through a brewing process containing hops, barley, yeast, and water. The barley is roasted, which gives flavors like maltiness found in the beverage. Hops is a vine-like plant, which looks like mini pine cones. It's associated with the bitterness in the taste, as well as the aroma. So what actually makes beer alcoholic is the yeast that brings out the sugars, it, sugars in the malted barley that end up fermenting and becoming alcohol. The two major categories of beer are ale and lager. Ales are fermented at a warmer temperature with the yeast put in last, they're called top brewed. Imagine it going into the top of the thing. And lagers are brewed at a colder temperature for a longer period of time with the yeast put in first, in the bottom of the beer thing. So you've got here for you today in the Beer Basics um, four different types of beer. We've got lager, ales, IPAs, and stouts. Why don't you start us off with lagers? Lagers are typically recognized by their gold color. They're uh, characterized as light, clean, crisp taste. Um, they're typically not strong in their hoppy flavor and they have little to no aftertaste. They don't uh, warm well usually either. They're best served cold, like most of the popular beers, except especially the ones that say serve cold and you know, whiff them out to turn blue. Um, there are definitely lagers, and they do that so you can't really taste anything because the cold numbs the taste buds. Uh, they're kind of like the first things you start drinking, and you know, like the go-tos for a lot of the common beers. Ale's really the building blocks of beer. Pretty much everything that isn't a lager is an ale. But when you go to the store and you pick up something that just says ale, it'll mainly be a light brown to a dark brown in color, it won't be that bitter, but it will be a lot more bitter than lagers, and it'll warm a lot better than them as well. It won't sort of go to like a crappy flavor when they get to room temperature. It'll actually taste really good depending on the beer that you get. I mean, three of the four beers we have on the table are ales, like stouts, IPAs, and ales. It's just everything pretty much. So I guess that leaves IPA and stout. Why don't you cover IPA? Sure thing. So IPA stands for an India Pale Ale. It was originally created by using more hops as a natural preservative when beer was shipped from England to the Indian colonies, hence the name, uh, hence the name, the India Pale Ale. Um, the hops give it a more uh, bitter taste to it, and it's a more, uh, it's a stronger scent than you would get with ales and lagers, obviously. Um, the color is looking at a, you can call it golden to a dark brown, and as far as taste goes, it starts off bitter like I mentioned, but then it kind of tapers off and you get the real taste of the beer that's hidden behind the bitterness. And I guess the last thing that, that you could say about the IPAs are uh, that they actually get more bitter uh, as they get closer to room temperature. The ales are good to drink room temperature, the, IP, the, the, the IPAs are alright if you like bitter beers. And I guess that only leaves now stouts, stouts yeah. the end of our gradient. Stouts can be a little bit more intimidating to a lot of drinkers just because they're so dark and they're so full f body flavored. Um, they usually range from dark red to black, the, but the bitterness that you get with ales and IPAs is replaced by sort of a creamy flavor that just sort of lingers through the taste and the aftertaste and it's really refreshing more than anything else. Uh, it's a lot more full filling, um, but honestly, like there's nothing to be scared about for stouts. So I think we poured a little bit too much beer. For I guess we'll just have to drink it all. Yeah. Drink it all. So, so what do you think of the the afterward Guinness? I do actually. Um, I do like it a lot actually. Um, Guinness is my first go-to beer. I started drinking at uh, insert legal age here, and. Um, <laughs> and back then, um, all I had was really like 
Molson and Keith's and, you know, like, like loggers. And Guinness was my first... Like crap? Like crap. Guinness was the first non-logger that I had. I, I went straight to Stout, never even touched a porter before I had a... Chez's experimentation phase. Yeah, the younger days. Uh, so, Guinness was the first thing that didn't taste like a, like a cheap mass-production lager. And it was nice, like, like you didn't have that weird half water, half malt, half... 150% barrel. Half water, half piss? Yeah, exactly. I didn't want to go for it. Like, <laughs> half water, half piss. I don't know, man. Like, I, the uh, first beer I ever had, well, what the hell is the one with the moose head? Oh, right. Moose, moose head. head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The first beer I ever had, Ian Kovac brought it to a New Year's party and he said I could have some and I had it. It was moose head. And I was like, do you guys actually choose to drink pit, like watered down urine? This is fascinating. The first beer that I had that wasn't a lager was Flying Monkey IPA, and I was like, wow, it's bitter. It's different from other beers. And, like, that's why, because it wasn't like a lager. And that's why I liked it. It was just like, I've never had a bitter beer before. Yeah, it kind of sneaks up on you. That's yeah. why I like ales now. I mean, like, after, after lagers and IPAs, I was just like, I need to get used to beers. Because there seems like there's so many beers out there. Yeah, I guess... That's it for this episode. That's Thanks it for, for watching. Beer buddies. We're gonna try and um, chug all this. We're not gonna let you watch because you know it's our private affairs. Uh, see you in see next, you next time. time. I'm Phil. This is Shaz. Thanks for being getting frunk as duck. You ready? Stop. Are you ready? You're not helping. And stop drinking when I'm about to talk to you. <laughs>